Video emerged this week of gender botherer Dylan Mulvaney coming out as a lesbian, which means he's really just a straight white guy with a strange wardrobe. Poor Bud Light. They destroyed their entire brand for nothing. Dylan Mulvaney began life as a gay man. Then he was queer, then he was non-binary, and now he's a she who wants to date a woman, but with the expectation that the woman he dates will get him pregnant. I'd say that again slowly, but no matter how many times or how slowly you say it, it never makes any sense. This person has 11 million followers on TikTok. Think about that. Now, at this stage, it's easier to follow the vicissitudes of Mr. Garrison from South Park. It's like my whole life has just been one big screw up, you know? I admit it, I was, I was sexually lost. I, and then I see this person on Oprah. She's a woman, but then she got a sex change and became a man. But then she got pregnant and is having a baby, which means she's still a woman all along. And that means I'm really still a man. I, I still feel like a man. <laughs> Are we going to get tested on this? But back to Mulvaney, who went on TikTok to announce... So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, then trans. And I think it was just a bit of a shock. H hang on a second. Mulvaney comes out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, and then trans, but his parents are shocked he's a lesbian. But it doesn't end there. According to Mulvaney... So I tell my dad and he goes, well, I would love to see you get a woman pregnant. And I said, oh, no, 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 she would be getting me pregnant. And then he said, what, do you have a vagina now? And I said, never say never. Mulvaney is no more a lesbian than the shovel in my shed and with about as much chance of getting pregnant. But I mean, never say never. Actually, my shovel has been spayed, so dad joke. But if I may, just for a moment, speak on behalf of lesbians everywhere, I'm pretty certain Mulvaney is not their type, what with him being a bloke and all. Mulvaney's mum, though, had an interesting perspective. And then I tell my mom, and she goes, I would just love to see you own property one day. Now that could be sound real estate advice, or it could be a mum who's reached the end of her patience and just wants Mulvaney out of the house. Mulvaney is clearly a fool, so... Why do we keep talking about him? Just ignore Mulvaney, people say. But never forget, it wasn't uptight conservatives who pushed Mulvaney into the limelight. Most conservatives hadn't even heard of Mulvaney until the President of the United States, no less, decided to make the gender narcissist a public spokesperson for human rights. President Joe Biden granted a sit-down interview with Mulvaney to discuss trans rights in October last year. Now, White House journalists can barely get an interview with Biden, but Mulvaney got a one-on-one -on -one chat just two weeks out from crucial midterm elections. Mulvaney began the chat with this. Mr. President, this is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God and, love you. Uh... Well, I'm certain God does love Dylan Mulvaney, but I'm not sure that we should give everyone God loves an international platform, which is exactly what the leader of the free world went on to tell Mulvaney that he wanted to do. Biden said it was important to him to be seen with Mulvaney in order to break down stereotypes and to normalise Mulvaney's experience. I'm not being facetious when I say this, being seen with people like you. No, I mean it. I genuinely mean it. People fear what they don't know. They fear what they don't know. And when people realise, individuals realise, oh, this is what they're telling me to be frightened of? This is the problem? This is... I mean, people change their minds. People are just don't know enough to know. Mulvaney is a man identifying as a woman, claiming to be a lesbian, hoping to be impregnated by a woman. And President Biden says the public need more exposure to this. I'm not questioning Mulvaney. Mulvaney should be free to do as he pleases. But you've got to ask why the President of the United States wants a cut of the action. Speaking of which, don't ever forget that major US brands from Nike to Maybelline have showered Mulvaney in money to promote their products. Western corporations have made Mulvaney a millionaire, while decent people are struggling with a mortgage and school fees. Critics like to portray Mulvaney as a joke. But Mulvaney is increasingly the face of Western culture. As President Biden says, God love you. And if I might, God help us.